In the last video, we covered the three functions that a light has, casting shadow, creating fill, or creating separation. In this video, we're gonna cover the five roles that a light can have, whether it's a key light, a fill light, a backlight, a set light, or an effects light. I'll offer you tips on where to place those lights and how best to use each one. The dominant source of light for a scene, or for the talent, is called the key light. Because the key light is the main source of light, there may actually be more than one key light in a given scene. For example, the talent may move from the back of the room and then sit on a couch. In that case, there are actually two key lights. The first one is when the talent is at the back of the room. At that position, the key is the light coming from the lamp. And then as the talent sits at the couch, the key becomes the lamp next to the couch. Or if you only wanted one key in the scene, you could turn off the lamp next to the couch. And now the lamp in the back is the key since it's the dominant light source of that scene. While the key light can come from any direction, and there can even be multiple keys in a scene, there are some basic guidelines for where to place your key light. The most flattering place to put your key light is at 45 degrees off axis from the camera and 45 degrees above the talent. By placing the light in this position, the shadow falls towards the camera, and it usually creates a triangularly shaped shadow on the talent's face. And speaking of shadows, another best practice 